What is Tony doing? There we go. Alright, so, yeah, Tony lost this one 3 1 last time. It was a winner semis. He said he wants to beat the camping this time. And lick the projectiles. So we'll see if he is able to. Winner of this goes to Grand Finals against Lorenzo. a full minute and nobody's above 50. Tony's now above 50. I knew because he's the worst player at Saps. I knew he would be the first to be above 50. Yeah, I'm surprised he was having a problem with camping before, like he says, with those Orbitars. He's dead. Wow. How heavy is Pit? I would assume on the lighter side. Probably around like Mario's weight. No, but Mario's not even that super light. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Whatever. Alright, 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 Where is it, where is it, where is it? Okay, there we go. Pit is... I just saw him. There he is. He's heavier than... Roy and Crom and Robin. But he's lighter than Byleth, Luigi, and Shulk. So, yeah, and then Mario's one above that, so. He's actually only two behind Mario, so I was, I was pretty close. He's pretty close. He is on the. He's actually, like, pretty much the exact middle. Maybe a little above the middle. So, yeah, I guess Tink's just strong. Get those uh, early kills. Oh! Dead again. I want, okay, so Tony's been playing Pit this whole tournament, but he's not a Pit main. So I wonder, like, he also doesn't care. So I wonder if he's going to switch. I doubt we'll see Luigi, but I, I'm kind of curious to see if he'd switch off Pit if this one doesn't work out. Maybe a me. <laughs> Let's see one of his me's. Though I don't want to see any me's until the, the pig me is out. That's the only me I want to see. He's getting it a few times. I guess he's just using it sparingly so it doesn't become predictable. He seems to hit him with it every time he's used it. Dude, it's so funny. The pygmy is so funny. No, the creep. You saying that the pig one's an abomination? The creeper's nice. The creeper gives him arms. That's not nice. The pig one is like, if if a pig stood up on all fours and like charged you. I mean, not stood up on all fours. Stood up on two legs and charged you, which is which is cool. But the creeper is just like unnatural. What do you guys think of uh, Travis Scott uh, Big Mac getting in as a meat costume instead of the instead of a character? I know some people wanted him. Personally, I'm glad that he's a meat costume. I think he's like a fine kid. Oh, drop shield too early, Tony. <laughs> I think I think he's a fine character, and I wouldn't hate him being in Smash. But at the same time, I do not want a slot taken up by him. I have no interest in the character, and there's so many other characters that I'd rather see first. 
So I think I'm glad that it's a me costume because, you know, he gets the representation, but it's not taking a slot. I'm also thinking, okay, so, so like, obviously I went Dixie Kong in. I doubt she would be a DLC spot. It's possible. I mean, DK is, like, I'm 99% sure there's going to be a new Donkey Kong game next year. I want to have an update the score. Like, there, there has to be. There we go. Because they've been, they've been like, drip-feeding the, the DK, the DKC games on Virtual Console. They've, uh, they've been posting a bunch of random, like, DK propaganda. <laughs> There's a 2021 Donkey Kong calendar coming out. Like, there has to be a DK game coming out. And it's, it's the 30th anniversary. Of, I mean, the, uh, I think it's 40th anniversary of Donkey Kong next year so you know if they tie it into that i could see dixie kong getting in because if this were a regular base roster dixie kong would be like i think still one of the most likely characters if we were talking about like the next game um i just don't know if she has the appeal for a dlc spot but she's definitely one of the most like deserving characters to be in the game Yeah, Cranky would be cool. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, Funky Kong. DK characters, like, we should be talking about Dixie Kong and Funky Kong in Smash 4. Because K. Rule should have already been in Brawl. Like, the fact that the third DK rep didn't come until this game is the reason that none of those other characters who all deserve spots at this point are not in the game. Like, if they do a Echo pass thing or like a update with with echo fighters then then funky funky would funky and dixie would like be shoe wins i feel like if they did that because dixie would be diddy echo and funky would dk echo i think dixie should be a unique fighter um but if they did an echo pass i think that'd be a breast chance so i've not really been paying attention to this game but Good thing only one stock has been taking this, taken so far. <laughs> it's crazy. It's it, we're like over two minutes into the match. Oh, and we did get the switch. We got Tony switched to Dark Pit, which I also didn't notice until now. Listen, man, you get me talking about Donkey Kong characters coming to Smash. Everything else goes out the window. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. No way. Maybe the dark pit was because he's playing uh, dark Toon Link, so it's a trying to trying to level the edginess playing field. Pretty sure the only differences between dark pit and pit is the side beam and the arrow. Like other than that, they should be exactly the same. I don't really know what the move was. So I think regular pit side B is probably better for dealing with projectiles. And also, like sniping off stage. I yeah, I really don't know what the what the idea was with dark pit. Dead. I mean, it seemed to be working out up until then. Pushing him back a little bit, catching up that percent. Well, that reflected it. You can't snipe him, though. Dead? Yeah. Twenty-three <laughs> percent from a down third to an up smash. <laughs> That's sad.
patience paid off. Get him off stage. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I mean, it, sh it should have been clanking with them. I'm like 99% sure it was. Yeah, it definitely was. They were, yeah. So, I, yeah, again, I, I don't know what the Dark Pit idea was. Because he seems to be wanting to, like, snipe him off stage sometimes, and he just can't do it. Yeah, he can't snipe him down there. <laughs> Bombed himself. You're holding the bomb! Bow on shield. Dead? Damn. Nice. Alright. So I guess Dark Pit was the move, though. I don't know why. I don't know why that was better for, for Dark Pit. Same characters. What stage are they going to? Battlefield. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell if the Dark Pit makes a difference or if it was just that Tony's figuring him out. Because keep in mind, this isn't this isn't really game three between them. They did play four games before this. Same matchup. Well, Pit instead of Dark Pit. Oh, careful! Pushed him away just enough to miss that grab. This is the second time this song has played on on either Battlefield or FD. With all the songs to choose, there's this one. <laughs> Dude, Pit does so little damage. He's at 52%, and I swear, Tony has hit him so many times. <laughs> I mean, he's at 73 now, it's 85. But when I was thinking that, he was at 53 or whatever it was. He's dead, though. Not gonna get that rage benefit unless Tink gets him up there again before he dies. Or after he dies. He'll still get the benefit. Oh, uh, he was waiting for that reaction, but he got hit by the boomerang. <laughs> That's how man link boomerang. Such a silly move. All three of them. I don't know what was supposed to happen there. <laughs> Did he think he would, like, get to him? Maybe, maybe catch a jump? He has no shield. <laughs> Ooh, nice shot. Ooh, he, did he die? No, okay. If he didn't have that jump, he might have been dead.
<laughs> Those Link Dares don't have lag. It's so stupid. Oh man, he, he threaded that needle right between the platforms. Dead. Can't remember if Toon Link or Young Link is the one with the multi-hit. Like, I, I know I just saw it, but I, I wasn't thinking about it, and now I'm curious. I'm pretty sure it's Toon Link's. Oh, he got out of it. He got out of it because of his boomerang. That would have... Oh, wait. First, I was looking at Toon Link's percent. I was like, dude, you could have just killed him with a back throw. You can take her both. Oh, okay, so it's it's just Bink that's not. Okay. Whoa. I went right through his shield and just dropped in front of him. combo 18 percent 30 percent without the extension that was an 18 percent combo it's so sad meanwhile you have peach who like down tilts you and you're at 60. He <laughs> hit two of them. <laughs> Went all the way back and hit him. Nice snipe. Nice snipe. Oh, he saw his jump. Not anymore, though. Damn. Nice job, Tony. Even though you're terrible. Keeping the pressure on us, dude. Back on battlefield. Alright, so Tony just needs one more one. It's the same song again. Somebody must have it selected. I bet Tony has it selected. Or wait, no. It might have been Ice was also on the stream before this. Yeah. Ice definitely has this song selected. Or Tony. One of them does. There's no way it's just the happening <laughs> as much. Yeah, those arrows are definitely doing a good job taking care of those boomerangs. Definitely makes it much harder for Tink to just stand away. Kind of has to go in. Where's he gonna shoot it? Is he gonna shoot it straight up against the guy on ledge? Who knows? See that's a lag right there. There's some uh, good old-fashioned input delay. You see him duck after the after the hit too. He's probably trying to downbeat before it. 
that was a back throw that could have killed. Oh, don't stand up in that! Tony! Why'd you do that? I feel like I don't even have to say it, but... You know what I mean. You, you know what I'm getting at. The guy who stands up into Yink a B. There's only one thing that can mean. I'm saying Tony's bad at the game. Oh, that boomerang almost saved him again. Good to see Tony still being patient, because I was just thinking, oh, that didn't kill. Wow, that, that sucks. I'm surprised that arrow didn't kill him off stage. That didn't kill either, Jesus. But yeah, it looked like Tony was sort of like slipping into, falling into projectiles and stuff. So the fact that he's still looking pretty patient is good. Oh, poked. That's really unfortunate, though, that, that he's still alive. He's still alive! He's dead now, he's gotta be. That's not even like a yink thing, that's a that's a dark pit thing. <laughs> you just can't kill him. Like, yink isn't... I mean, not yink. Tink is... Tink is, like, not even that heavy. Actually, I have the weights up right now. How heavy is Tink? Heavier than Young Link. He's, he's the same weight as Polly. Yeah, so not that heavy. Keeps grabbing the shield. Well, I guess he's not. He doesn't keep doing it. They're both doing it. Just grabbing that big old circle. They're not getting the grab. This is where Tony's really been shining in this matchup, is off stage, even though he missed because he's bad. Uh, now he's dead, so. That's what you get. He's gotta push in on those projectiles. Not have the lead. Oh, that was nice. Watch out for the bomb. He keeps jumping into boomerang. I've seen him do it a bunch of times. But I mean, how do you really react to boomerang? At that range, at that point, you're just guessing. Alright, still very even match. Ice did not get a punish on that fair on shield. I don't think it's safe. But Tony followed it up right away. Freed from the grab again from that. He's gotta think about that when he's throwing those boomerangs out. Swinging a sword and <laughs> through the boomerang. <laughs> nice. Keep playing patient, that's good. Oh, he jumped into it. Ice definitely doing well when when Tony's above him. Just in general, with the boomerang. Particular, but also like catching landings and stuff. Not in a good place now, though. Careful with that bomb. <laughs> this is a very even game. Ooh, yeah. Tony, Tony is really just being super patient, and it's really paying off. And Tony takes it. Tony takes the set. He has, he has gotten his revenge. <laughs> 